we have found five items that really help us in a small space for storage. And if you stick around till the end, we have a sixth item we'd like to show you that's completely free. All these things can be found in the description box. Now, a lot of you have said to us, how do you find the description box? And so for those of you who don't know, if you look right underneath the video, there'll be words. And next, like in that wording, there'll be the word more, dot, dot, dot. If you click on that word more, it will take you to the description box and it opens up a whole explanation of all of the information that's in every video. Um, all the links, the links to the products will be there, the links to anything else we reference, links to some of our other videos, just any information that you may be looking for is going to be in that description box. Now, some of you, about 40% of you, watch our videos on TV. And I don't even know a lot of times where the description box is when you're looking on the TV. So it's, it's, it's complicated. But what we have done for those folks who are watching our videos on TV is put a QR code on the screen and you can click on it right here. The QR code, if you hover your phone over the QR code on the screen, it will take you right to the links to any of the products or information in this video. If you live in an RV, or even if you just travel a lot in an RV, you know how difficult it is to find space for all the things you wanna have along. So we have come up with five things that really help us save on storage. And maybe some of these items you could even use in your sticks and bricks home. You don't have to have a home on wheels to be able to use these products. They're great. And they're great gift ideas too with the holiday season coming up. This is a magnetic knife bar that has been adhered to the side of our camper and the knives just magnet right to the bar. It's a really strong magnet, as you can see. They come on and off, but they sit right there while traveling down the road. And they're really handy when we're prepping. As you can see, our food prep area is here and here. So we have very small space. One nice thing that we love about it is that it doesn't take up any counter space. So we don't have to have a knife block with the knives in it that then every time we move, we have to take the knives out, pack everything up, put it somewhere safe. We just leave it right there on the wall and that's where they travel and they're safe and it saves our counter space immensely. We really like the paper towel dispenser that we chose. Jim installed this on the underside of the cabinets. And one of the great things about it is that it has a ratchet system in it. So as you pull the paper towels off, it's not like, whoo, <laughs> it um, goes slowly. So you can just take one at a time. When you cook here, that works out really well. If you saw our video about cooking the beef stew that I made, I used a lot of paper towel and it's so handy having it right here in your food prep area, but it's up and out of the way. What I'm doing here is putting it on paper towel because you want your beef to be really dry. We're gonna be sauteing it in oil and so we want it to brown, not boil. <laughs> boil is bad. The nice thing about the ratchet system also is that when you're going down the road, it just travels right there and it doesn't unroll itself. So um, it stays put and keeps everything neat and it's up and off the counter. So it gives us that valued counter space that we need in a small RV. One of the things about living in an RV is there are small spaces. So we have these lovely cupboards here, but some of the spaces you're not quite sure what to use them for. We do have the two drawers, which are really great, but there was this space here above the drawers that's just a certain width, height, and um, depth, and we were lucky to find something that fits perfect in this space. And it is a Ziploc bag holder. 
we instead of having all of the individual boxes of each of the sizes, this is great because we can hold the gallon, quart, sandwich, and snack bags all in one space and it fits perfectly into that area. These come in all different sizes, um, widths, and, and as far as what it'll hold, but this one we found works great. You'd have to measure what works for your space, but I'm sure there's something you can find that will work for you. Makes it very nice and compact. On this side of our cupboards, we have under the sink storage, which really limits what your space allows. Um, and we found this really small, compact bag holder. And I know we've seen these that are much bigger for houses, but the sink area is pretty little. So this is really perfect. It fits in the little space. It's small, it's compact, it holds our grocery bags because we reuse these for the trash. So it's a great way to keep everything clean and neat and stored away and closes right into the cabinet. I don't know about you, but when you go down the road and your house is moving all of the time, things end up everywhere. So it's really important to find things that you can organize and hold things together and keep them from getting everywhere. So our solution for the cupboard here, let me show you. We found these rope baskets and they are really great because they're sturdy they're really heavy duty, but they're very squishy. So they, they fit into a lot of spaces. This compartment is an area that the roof is curved. Our camper obviously has an, um, an arch in it. So the back of this cupboard has less space. So I have two of these in that space and they both fit perfectly and they hold our extra sheets and towels and washcloths and they're easy to get in and out. Not only are they a super sturdy basket and flexible, but I think they look pretty modern and trendy, don't you? We use the rope baskets in numerous places. Let me show you another place we use them. We have under bed storage. And we have one on my side and one on Jim's side that we use for extra storage under the bed. Works great for extra storage. Again, it's, <laughs> again, it's squishy, and um, but firm and gives a sturdy place um, to put some extra clothing and also squishes into the spot that we need it to fit. And again, they look pretty nice. As I mentioned earlier, we had five items with a bonus. And I wanna tell you about the bonus item. It is absolutely free. And it was something that we actually just stumbled across and thought this will work great for our cups and glasses. Now, I don't know what you guys do, but we do have some glass cups, like ceramic cups, and we have our glasses like for wine. And we like having the actual glass things. We do have some plastic also, and even for those, you want them to be safe going down the road. We found this great item. If you wanna take a look, what's nice about these cabinets in the Airstream is they are curved and the items sit down in. So that already helps with safety and things not falling out when you're going down the road. But we, as you can see, have some glass cups and coffeeware. And these just fit in here with the handles being snug in the little spaces. And they don't touch each other. 
and they're very snug and they travel really well in this location. I'd like to show you what this actually is closer up. So we'll go ahead probably and take um, the cups and things out of this and pull it out of the cabinet so that you can see what it is. Can anybody guess what it is from seeing it so far? If you do know what it is, put that in the comments. But of course, we're gonna tell you in just a couple of minutes. So here it is, and you can see it's very lightweight, it's plastic, and it is what's used in the nurseries or greenhouses to grow plants in. So it's where the pots sit in, and a lot of times you see these when you go to buy flowers at the beginning of the year. Um, you buy a flat, and this is the flat. And so we just picked one of these up. They have these everywhere and they don't, there's no cost to them. And we washed it up really good with soap and water. And that's what we use. And as you can see, all of this fit in that. Now, some of them we put on top of each other, but um, they fit really nicely into the spaces. It's like they were made for this. <laughs> Hopefully you find these products helpful. We have found them really useful. We use them every day. I hope that in some way they can help you whether you are living full time on the road or just traveling in your RV or living in your house. Thank you so much for watching and maybe we'll see you out there on the road less traveled. Are you filming? Is there a little light blinking? I don't see any light blinking. So we're rolling. Today we are going to talk about some exciting things that we use um, in the camper on a regular. In the camper. Um, let me try that again. Uh, and also, there's been a lot of. Um, we're going to be showing you five items. Um, If you can hear that, it's a train whistle. <laughs> if you live in a camper, try again. So this is a knife block. Nope. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments about these items. And if there's anything here that you would like I see it. Okay. Okay. Hopefully these things are helpful and hopefully you enjoyed learning about the things that help us with our storage space, living in less than 200 square feet. And we hope you have, I should have just ended it there. <laughs>